You've seen that golden fish jumping out of the water and it's a, again, it's a very elegant jump and so almost you see it in slow motion and, and you see that golden figure out there and it, it, it's hard to describe but it's, uh, you can get a thrill for that easily. It's gorgeous, it's almost like a holographic image. I think this fishery is unique one of a kind. I think this is locked away in time. Uh, I think there was fishing like this all over Argentina and Brazil and Paraguay back in, you know, a thousand years ago. Uh, I mean, just the massive schools that are here right now chasing these sablos upstream. And, uh, you know, you get them in so many different situations where you've got them in big schools of, you know, 20, 30 plus pound fish just exploding uh, and then you go up in the upper parts of these uh, smaller tributaries and you've got you know very classic fly fishing uh, you know with tricky men's and rapids and crystal clear water and you know a lot more finesse fishing you know it covers every angle of uh, what people look for in a legitimate game fish in, a, in sport fishing it's just amazing. They keep getting bigger, meaner, stronger, and they're everywhere. You can say it's like finding a great piece of music that is not very well known, or a, or a very special lady, or any of those things that, that right then you can tell it's a special moment, it's a special thing. You're literally throwing flies that I use for cobia, uh, sailfish, striped marlin, things like that, and pull them out and just see these five gallon buckets of white come out, these massive dorada. I can't even tell you how many fish we caught. <laughs> It's more like finding a place where dorados are in peace, our healthy environment that is so full of them that can kind of give you hope. They are on the top of the top, you know, they are the, the fucking kings of the of the river there and no not even human beings have being able to disrespect that. Then as soon as we hit the pluma, you could tell the rift and the current that came down and the water blew up. There were massive dorado and schools that I can't even count hammering Sabala. I mean, it was unbelievable. We pulled up, immediately drifted into the line on our first cast, all four of us, well over 20 pound fish landed those, circled back up, and it was going on the entire time. I can't lift them. Ugh. I don't care. So, if somebody gets surrounded by, by, for example, what we saw yesterday and doesn't appreciate it, he, I will let him know that he's an asshole. Somehow. No problem with that. And of course he never come back.
¿Qué pasó a eso? Mi mordió este es mismo lugar. ¿Casi? ¿Mordió? Uh -huh. Grande. Grande. Ahí. Ese tamaño. Estaba pescando. Sí. What, what happened, Rodrigo? Uh, he was fishing and a dorado of this size bite him on the on when he was fishing and on his ankle and grabbing and 